Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to add a new property from front end submission form. You can find out how to manage the fields for submission form by checking our submission fields videos. Our recommendation is to add the new listing from front end submission form only as here you will find all options available. Admin can use backend add new property section but only to approve listings if the option is enabled. The option for admin approving listings can be found in team options, payments and submit, submission payment settings. This is the option. The add new property can be found in user dashboard. Seven section will be available each with specific details. In description section, you will see the continue button, which will be available for new listings only. And once pressed, the listing will be created. But to save the details, the save button will need to be pressed. I will show an example. Now the new listing was created, but to save all details and go to next step, save button will need to be pressed. I will explain each section by editing an existing listing. In description section, you have title. It will be mandatory regardless if it is set as a mandatory fields in team options. You need to add property categories category listed in city, neighborhood, country. The guest number will need to be selected and the property descriptions needs to be added. Here you can add all details. The affiliate link is used for bookings. If a link is added here, then in listing page, when the guest will press book now, he will be redirected to a third party domain on the link that you added here. Also private notes is used if guest wants to add details that only admin can see. The last section, allow instant booking, is used for the owner to select instant booking for his listing. All these details will be visible on listing page on front end, city area, categories, guest, and property description. If the description is too long, then the view more view less buttons are useful. Next you will have price section. Here you will add all bookings specifications. You can add price before after label. The before and after label are used to add words in front or after the price. I have from. This will be visible in front of the price. Here Next, the owner can add specific price, price per weekend, cleaning fee, city fee, and other booking related values. In this section, you will also have the option to add custom price per period. You need to select start and end date. Add a custom price here. These values will show in a table here in submission form and in property page after save. Here the table for custom price will show. Next we have images section. Here you can add listing images, videos or virtual tour. For videos you need to add only the video ID and the virtual tour works with iframe codes. On front end images and videos will show in a slider and virtual tour will show in a different section. In detail section, default fields and custom fields need to be filled in. Size, rooms, bedrooms, you can set here what kind of beds you have in each bedroom. These are the demo custom fields, but they can be changed. Any fields left blank will not show in front end. In listing page, these fields will show in property details. 
Next, you can set terms and condition by adding cancellation policy, other rules, and setting here the options that are available for your listings. This section can be seen here. In location, you will be able to add address details, address, zip, state, county, place a pin on the map with the listing address. Please note that latitude and longitude need to be selected to show here for the property to be correctly placed on the map. The address details can be seen here. Also, admin has the option to not show the address until the booking is confirmed. You have this option in team options, design listing page settings. This is the option and this is how it will show. The next section is for features and amenities. On listing page, these elements will be displayed under property features. The last section is the calendar one. This calendar will show only for per night or per day bookings. It will not be available for hourly bookings. The owner can use this calendar to manually block some dates in calendar and also to import block dates for other platforms like Booking.com or Airbnb. These are the steps that an owner needs to take to submit a new property. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notification on our next videos.